Today, in this lecture, we are going to learn about continuity of function. Okay, so continuity of function. So this is very interesting. Okay, so first of all, you have to get physical meaning of what is continuous function. Okay, what do you understand by continuity okay so when a river flows like this so it is continuous it doesn't break a river is not like that okay it starts here then there is no water then it goes again some water comes out it stops here and then again it goes okay it should be continuous it should start from some mountain and the water should go to the sea isn't it it cannot stop in between anywhere it should be continuous so I should be drawing the picture of that river without putting out my pen okay similar is the case with functions okay so if you look at some function for example so this is the x and y axis so y is equal to x if I plot this one so the function is something like this this is y is equal to x and it is continuous so when i drew this line so it will be going everywhere till infinity on both the sides so what happens so when i was drawing this so i just drew it without putting up my pen i had to put my pen everywhere continuously okay then only i can get y is equal to x but let's see a function which is defined as f of x is equal to let's say 3 if x is less than equal to 0 and is equal to 1 if x is greater than 0 okay so we should try to plot this function and let's see what happens so this is the x-axis this is the y-axis so fx is equal to 3 if x is less than equal to 0 okay so fx is less than e is equal to 3 if x is less than equal to 0 so this is the case so we have y is equal to 3 and this point on x is equal to 0 included okay so 0 comma 3 now we need to draw the other part x is greater than 0 so fx is 1 so then again I can draw like this so this is y is equal to 1 and at x is equal to 0 so this is the point and not this so that I draw 0 comma 1 okay so now what we see is this function continuous so we see that okay when I was drawing this line so I continuously drew the line pen was always on the paper and I came till here but now I cannot draw the function continuously because there is a discontinuity now I have to put up my pen so my pen now is up okay it's not on the paper it's up here at this point I come to this point discontinuity from here again it is continuously I draw like this so what we can say is that okay so let's see if this point is continuous this function is continuous everywhere so we can say that okay function function fx is continuous for all points x is less than equal to 0 okay x is less than 0 it is continuous not equal to equal to is not there and then fx is continuous for every point greater than 0 because again I could draw the function without holding up my pen I could draw the function for x is less than 0 without holding up the pen 
only problem that I got was at x is equal to 0 where I had to hold up my pen okay or discontinue making the graph so this is called the point of discontinuity at x is equal to 0 which we will now try to define okay and as we have learnt limit so we will try to define it in terms of limit so do you get any intuition about what we should define let's first check is f of x what is the limit of fx as x tends to 0 okay so we will try to look at this so what is the limit of the function as x tends to 0 this will give us a lot of answers so for finding the limit what we do so limit f of x x tends to 0 minus we will find and limit f of x x tends to 0 plus we will try to find okay then what we see so let's try to tabulate few values of fx for x is greater than 0 okay so 0 so limit x tends to 0 from the positive side for this fx so what happens it is 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001, 0 0 0.0001. In fact, yeah, that is correct. And then 10 to the power of minus n. Okay. So as we approach this, so what happens for each of them? The value is what from the positive side. I'm coming very close, very close, very close to it to 0 then the value is still 1 1 1 1 1 isn't it but now let's say that I approach from the other side fx x tends to 0 minus so now I am approaching from the other side this side coming closer 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 very close so what happens minus point 0.1 minus point zero 0.01 minus point zero zero 0.001 10 to the minus 10 to the power of minus n where n is very large so for all these points we see we are the value is what the value will be 3 3 3 and 3 so what we see that okay left hand limit is 3 right hand limit is 1 so this function does not have a limit at x is equal to 0 isn't it so this function doesn't have a limit at x is equal to 0 hence it is not continuous also so one thing we can say is that if by our observation if limit x tends to 0 or c generalize it if limit x tends to c f of x from c minus is not equal to limit fx x tends to c plus if both the limits are not equal then of course the limit fx x tends to c does not exist isn't it does not exist and somehow we see that if the limit does not exist then what will happen it it is usually from this example at least we can say that okay it is not continuous also okay now let's see one more example okay so this example is f of x is equal to 1 if x is not equal to 0 is equal to 3 if x is equal to 0 so now let's see what happens we plot this function okay x y 
f x is 1 if x is not equal to 0 ok so I try to draw f x is 1 x is not equal to 0 so at 0 there is I cannot say that ok it is x is 1 but again I can just drive my pen and f x is 1 for x is not equal to 0 and f of x is 3 if x is 0 ok so this is 0 comma 3 and this is y is equal to 1 so now is the function again is f x continuous at x is equal to 0 so we see that ok if we again based on the definition of can we draw the function the first question you should ask is can we draw function of graph without putting a power pen ok so this is important so can we draw so we drew here very fast we came here but again here at x is equal to 0 it is 3 so I have to come from here to here I have to move up my pen then again come down and go like this so we see that okay this also at x is equal to 0 I had to put up my pen <coughs> sorry so what does it tell this tells that our function is not continuous at x is equal to 0 ok so now based on these two examples we can now define what is limit <coughs>